No, no, help, help, help. I'm getting surrounded by torches. No, no, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Ooh. Why did this happen? Good day friends, welcome back in Boatburg in Build a Boat for Treasure, where I'm trying to build a house. Now, since the last video, a few things changed, as every episode, so let me show the changes. Uh, we have decided that this is the best, the coolest looking tree out of the two trees that I made. So, I've made more of the tree, I've made six of them, I think six is enough. First, I wanted four or five on each side, but they were standing really close together. So, now I've got some space in between them, and I like it. I like the trees like that. I tried to make the wall all the way to the side, it used to be until here, uh, but I've made it all the way to here, except I don't have enough uh, concrete pillars, which is what the top is made out of, so I need to save up some more concrete pillars. Also over here, I just need a few more. Well, I don't know what chest it is the best from, but as you may or may not have noticed, the fountain is gone, because you guys have requested this idea so many times, a dinosaur statue. You guys have asked for it so many times. So many times. So many people have asked for it. Some people say make a dinosaur statue. Some people said make a Legosaurus statue. Some people said make a, a bush in the shape of a Legosaurus or a dinosaur. Or Some people even say make a dinosaur skeleton. Well, a dinosaur skeleton would be really hard because the blocks are really big. The blocks are this big. How are you going to make a detailed skeleton? That would be hard. I might try to make a really big one someday, but not today, I think. So that's why I have removed the fountain because the fountain was no one's idea because I was I made that in episode number one. So back then I didn't have any ideas from you guys yet because it was the first episode. So they were my ideas and I really like to use you guys' ideas. So first I've got to make some kind of stand for it, I think. Okay, so this is going to be the foot that the dinosaur will be standing on. Maybe I will make it even a little bit higher than that, like... Or maybe I should make it... No, I'm not going to make it too high, I think. Okay, the T-Rex uh, is going to be standing here. I think I will just try to make it detailed. So I'm going to make it out of balloon blocks, okay? I'm going to try to make it out of balloon blocks. Because I really want to get it right. I really want to get it right. Okay, so I sort of got the shape of the T-Rex, sort of. Okay, so I sort of have the shape right. It's really hard to make with such big blocks to make it detailed and look good. Like I can give it nails because this is the smallest block there is. Uh, and I can be very detailed. Oh man, and sometimes you just cannot place them. Sometimes it just doesn't work and I don't know why. Okay, I don't actually think it's looking that good. Oh man, this is a lot harder than I expected. This is so much harder than I expected to make it actually look good. Oh, it looks so bad. It looks so bad. I'm so sorry, you guys.
I don't know about this, you guys. Oh, it's so bad. And maybe I can put some teeth? <laughs> oh, this is so weird. Now it has teeth. A beautiful to Oh, no. How am I going to put the eyes like that? <laughs> I <laughs> know it's a derpy T-Rex. I don't want it to be a derpy T-Rex. I wanted to make a beautiful T-Rex, but I'm so bad. No. How about this? Are these the eyes? I don't know. This looks so bad. This is the worst T-Rex ever. Okay, so now it just looks like he's wearing a wig. <laughs> That's not what I meant either. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, now he has hair. I did the wrong color brown. Now he has hair. Which color brown did I have? Oh no, uh, this? Okay, okay, okay. So the head is a little bit over the top, but I like it a lot more than what we just had with the eyes on top. Okay, so here we go. We have a T-Rex statue. Hmm, maybe it should be green too. The thing is, if I make it green and I have this many plants, then it's just going to be boring. So you know what? I'm going to leave it brown. I kind of like it brown, but I will give it a top hat. How about that? Let's give it a top hat. I think it deserves a top hat. Okay, okay, now it's just wearing a pizza box for a hat. What is this? What is this? Squid person. Go away or I will put you in the pizza box. I will put you in the pizza box. Okay, because the head is now a pizza box. What? He says my T-Rex is stupid. What? I actually like it now. I didn't like it a few seconds ago. I thought it was starting to look pretty bad. But now I think it's starting to look really good. Or well, it looks pretty good because it's sort of done. Okay, let's quickly save it again. In case of that hacker teleporting in here again. The hacker with the squid on his head. Tell me if you guys like it. I think I, I actually, I actually kind of like it with the top hat. This now, he now says welcome. So when you come into the gate, when you come into the gate, then the first thing you see is a giant T-Rex statue, T-Rex with a top hat. Wait a minute, I'm not wearing my headphones. Why is it playing the song that we're going? Why is it playing the song we're not going? I didn't click start. I did it, I did it, I did it, okay, okay. Now, of course, it has to be, I guess, the brightest blue. Beautiful blue. Okay, there we go. Now there's water around it. So it's still sort of a fountain. Now it's still sort of a fountain because there's still water around it now. That is, I love it. I love it now. Okay, so uh, Zag actually has a way that you can turn things around. Like normally when you play build a boat, you can only turn, turn things like this. But he can turn them very slowly in every direction that he wants, all the way in a circle. So let's see if he wants to show that, how that works, because that's very useful. Legosaurus has a code that gives you a lot of gold, but he doesn't want to share. That's not true. I wish I had that code because I don't even have that much money. Okay, you place a wheel, he says, unanchored. So, un anchor off and then you place a wheel and then you put something on it and then you put a chair <laughs> and then you okay and then you have to turn around you have to turn the wheel using the driver's seat but and then you have to delete the seat while you're still moving so you don't let go of moving while the wheel is still turning then you delete the chair and then you can use spam blocks on top of the wheel and they will be rotated like this look at this what? 
This is so cool. Check it out. This looks so cool. It's, it's almost a full circle. It's almost a perfect circle now. He's just spamming flag blocks. Almost perfect. He's going to keep adding the flags. What? This looks so cool. I, I, I hope we can use this in the house build sometime to make something that we want to be rotated. Look at this. Now you have a carpet. Now you basically have a red carpet. No, no, help, help, help. I'm getting surrounded by torches. No, no, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Oof. Why did this happen? He has now mysteriously disappeared. He is gone. He says, go on with your house. But I'm actually already done with the T-Rex statue. Uh, I hope you guys like it because this is the most requested thing. This is the thing that you guys ask the most for uh, in this series to build for my house. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, I actually kind of like it. It doesn't look scientifically accurate like it is not a real look doesn't look like what a t-rex really look like but that's impossible making out out of big blocks i think i did a pretty decent job it's just standing a little bit upright it has two toes and uh, there's some there's some problems with it but overall i really like how it turned out and yeah i hope you guys like it too apart from that i hope you're having an awesome day don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur